Number three, part of the fitra is using the miswak, right? A miswak or siwak, right? And this is where we use the toothbrush, right? This is from the arak tree, right? This is something that all the prophets did. They used the arak tree. This is a natural root. You get it from a root, right? And you use it, you know what I'm saying? And you brush your teeth with it, okay? This is called the miswak. So a lot of people say, what is that in your mouth? What's that stick in your mouth, right? This is a miswak. This is the original toothbrush, right? This is something that all the prophets did. They used to the miswak, okay? So inshallah, there's a lot of things with regard to the miswak. So inshallah, there's many benefits with the miswak. So inshallah, I'm going to read these things, inshallah. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, If I felt that it wouldn't be a burden on my ummah, I would have ordered the miswak before every salah. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said, if he felt that it wasn't a burden for his ummah, he would have made the miswak mandatory before every salah, right, for the benefit of it. But he didn't want to make it a burden for us because some of us might not be able to do it, right? Showing emphasis that it's good to do and we should do it before every salah. Also, we're told in the hadith that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he used to walk through the town and be seen with the miswak in his mouth. Right? So it's said in Hadith that the Prophet so so long, he used to walk around the town with the miswak in his mouth. Right? Not saying that it was this big or how, whatever, but the emphasis is that the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad so so long, is that he used to walk around the town with the miswak in his mouth. Right? He used to always be seen with a miswak. We're also told in Hadith that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that every time he woke up from sleep, he would the first thing he would do was wash his hands and use the miswak. So whenever the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam would wake up from sleep, it says that the first thing that he would do was wash his hands and use the miswak, right, showing the emphasis of it. Okay. Medical proofs with regards to the miswak, we're told that it's medically proven that the miswak, right. That it helps with gum infection, right? It minimizes plaque and it minimizes, minimizes gingivitis, right? Aisha Radil Anha said, the prayer in which the miswak is used is 70 times superior than not used. So Aisha Radil Anha said that the prayer in which the miswak is used is 70 times greater than the prayer in which one does not use the miswak. So if someone's getting ready to make salat, and they use the miswak before they make the salat, and a person that doesn't use the uh, miswak, the person that used the miswak, he has 70 times greater reward in their salat than the person that didn't use the miswak. So alhamdulillah, I mean, you see brothers using the miswak before the salat, there's a reason why, right? It's not just a fad or it looks cool, we walk around with miswak, right? Because we understand that there's elevation in using the miswak, 70 times higher elevation than the one that doesn't use the miswak. Abu Dharada said, make miswak a must. <coughs> make the miswak a must. And do not be heedless, as there are 24 benefits in the miswak. So this is one of the Sahabas, right? He said, make the miswak a must, right? Keep it with you. And do not be heedless, as there are 24 benefits in the miswak. The greatest benefit is that Allah subhanahu wa becomes pleased. There is increase in wealth with using the miswak. It freshens the breath. It strengthens the gums. It relieves headaches. So people that have headaches, it relieves headaches, right? It relieves toothaches. So if you have toothache, right? Miswak, right? So it relieves toothaches. And due to the light from the face and teeth, the angels shake their hands. The angels shake their hands. So again, there's 24 benefits in the miswak, but the greatest benefit is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with the one that uses the miswak. There is an increase in wealth. So even in use of the miswak, Allah said he'll increase you in wealth. It freshens the breath. It strengthens the gums. It relieves headaches. So those who get headaches or migraines, right, use miswak. It relieves the toothache. So anyone who has a toothache, you use the miswak. It relieves the toothache. And due to the light from the face and the teeth, the angels shake hands. We also know that there's religious benefits, right? 
We're told that it creates a nur on the face of the one who regularly uses the miswak, so he becomes, he has one that has a nur on his face. His face shines. The one that uses the miswak, right? It is a remedy for all diseases except death. So we're also told that the miswak is a cure for all diseases except death, right? It increases the reward of the salat 70 times, right? You have a greater rank in the Jenna for those who use it. The angels sing the praises of the one who used the miswak, and it is is displeasing to shaitan. So when you use the miswak, shaitan is displeased with the one that uses the miswak. Especially during the month of Ramadan. We use the miswak during the month of Ramadan. We don't use toothbrushes and toothpaste. We use the miswak because this is the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We're also told that there's many health benefits with the water using the miswak. It enhances your memory. Okay, it refreshes, it refreshes your mouth, it strengthens your gums, it blocks tooth decay, right? It is the remedy for headaches, it improves your eyesight, it improves your health of the whole body, it helps your digestive system, it clears your voice, it triggers your appetite, it boosts your eloquence of one, it boosts the eloquence of one's speech, meaning the recitation of the Quran and it improves your intelligence, okay? So again, many spiritual benefits. It creates a nor on the faith of the one who uses it. It's a remedy for all diseases except death. It increases the reward of the Salat by 70 degrees, right? The one who uses the miswak, it's a greater rank in the Jenna for the one that uses it. The angels sing the praises of the one who uses the miswak, and it is displeasing to shaitan. Okay, also we know that during the month of Ramadan, which is now, Alhamdulillah, the Prophet Sallallahu he used to use the miswak throughout the day. There's nothing wrong with using the miswak, right, during the month of Ramadan. Also, the health benefits of using the miswak, it enhances the memory, it freshens the mouth, it strengthens the gums, it blocks tooth decay, it is a remedy for headaches, it improves eyesight, it improves the health of the whole body, it helps the digestive system. It clears the throat. It triggers the appetite, right? Increases your metabolism. It boosts eloquent speech, such as when you recite the Quran, you should use miswak before you recite the Quran. It'll help you and elevate you in your speech. It'll make, have you have eloquent speech. It'll loosen your tongue, right? And it improves your intelligence. Alhamdulillah, Okay? So these are some of the benefits of using a miswak. It's the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's a stress sooner. It's something that he said that if it wasn't a burden for the Ummah, he would have made it mandatory. It elevates you in rank, you know, in your salat, right? Helps you in your memory, your intelligence, clears your throat, helps you with the recitation, right? And it's displeasing to shaitan. So alhamdulillah, but I mean, we, inshallah, put this into our repertoire. Even the women, you know, we mostly see a lot of men using the miswak, but right, but the women should use the miswak as well. We're told that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi that him and Aisha, they should share the same miswak. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would use the miswak and then give it to Aisha and she would use the same miswak, right? So Alhamdulillah, it's not just for the men, it's for the women as well. Alhamdulillah, that's what I mean.